Okay, That's my so, advice. So, so tell me, tell me now uh, about um, the pocket dimension I have to enter so that I can spend time with AC6 because, um, yeah, w like uh, what? So what? Like, um, on how? Do how without becoming Doctor Manhattan, how? Okay, how you know that part in in the robot show where the, the robot man is boosting as hard as he can towards, mm -hmm. like, a big cannon. Mm -hmm. And then the cannon shoots, and, and then, then they do a quick boost to the side, yep. and the cannon misses. That's and correct. And then you, they use their laser sword to go, wow! Yes. And then kill the cannon. Yeah, it turns yeah, out... You, you, you do that all the time in, in AC6. Would you believe that's my favorite shit yeah. in the world? Yeah, I would. Yeah, because it's cool as hell! <laughs> um... Uh. Also, I want to point out uh, there's there's a there's a there's a fun thing. You know how we've all made fun of like CBT with uh, cognitive. You talking about cognitive and behavioral therapy? No. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about the closed beta test. No, ah. I'm talking about the Capcom beta test. Ah. No, I'm talking right. Torture. AC six. AC six is like the worst. In that, like, are we talking? Like, hey, man, oh man, I was juking around, and I was, I was like dodging Assassin's missile locks. Creed. Yeah. And and oh man, I kept hearing danger because of because of the, all the enemy aircraft when I was playing Ace Combat Six. Ace Combat, Animal Crossing, <laughs> Assassin's Creed, Armored Core. Um, I, I literally. It's bad. Yeah. It's, it's not, real bad. I just had another one. Uh, yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> um. Uh, but, uh, so, um, I have been playing the Astral Chain, God. The Astral Chain. Uh, I have been playing the Accent Armored Core Sticks, which, um, is an Armored Core-ass Armored Core game. Advent and Children. To those, to people who were not familiar with Armored Core, like, totally never really touched it. Um, the easiest way to explain it is, uh, take the Souls series, Right. Um, and replace everyone with robots. And remember how Demon Souls was mission based, but then every game became more interconnected after that. Mm -hmm. Go in the other direction from Demon Souls, and more mission based. Okay. Because Gene made a fan Gene Park, friend of the show, wonderful guy, made an excellent point. Armor Core is not a robot souls like. Demon Souls is a fantasy armored core. Right. Demon Souls Arm uses equip load and shoulder buttons and both analog sticks to control. Well, so fuck Souls games. Um Armored Core has, if I'm not mistaken, always been mission, do your output, set up your thing, your loadout yep. for this mission, do what this yeah. mission requires, go back. And change it all up for the next one. No. Hey, did you get your ass beat in that mission? Congrats. Let's get. Let's take a look at your mission costs. Yeah. Right. Minus your mission. Your mission reward. Um. It's it's. The game is totally carried by its controls, because it controls exactly the way you think it should in your mind. Like, the way boosting, jumping, dashing, quick boosting, aiming, locking on, missile locking, spreading the missile lock. No, no AC fingers required holding the controller backwards with so the, the triggers of, up top and the sticks in your in your, your digits. So one of the things that uh, I remember, I, man, I feel so smart about this. I remember talking when Vati put out the video that had uh, no UI. I was like, it really looks like it has a traditional Dark Souls style lock on. Uh, and I think that it should have a traditional Dark Souls style lock on if you want it for things that move really fast, because then you can, you know, just control and make it go fast. And everyone told me I was fucking stupid. Um, and uh, no, it totally has a traditional Dark Souls style lock on that you only use for priority targets that are really fast or really big. Right. So the average uh, uh, whatever generic uh, unmanned robots t helicopters uh tanks soft you know lock. the usual yeah use the soft lock mm -hmm. have have your have your camera just point wherever it is and if it's on the screen and it's within the bounding box of your of your of your robot your robot will aim and shoot to wherever however if you are fighting another armored core 
or you know, you know, big big old boss robot, you use target lock. At which point your your robot will turn to face them like you would expect, right? And then your right thumb is free to do things like jump or quick boost, which is the dodge equivalent within the actual thing. However, if the the if the target is so fast that they like are able to blow through like like blow past you off the screen the lock will break okay. so like like things that are just complete speed demons will and kind of should break your lock and you will have to re you will have to reacquire them a rival or a boss or a anything that's as good as you which you that that makes yeah. sense yeah okay um yeah I, I I got I got like a nearly back to back like um Wednesday C six followed by this isn't FF nine like mm -hmm. message combo where you're just yeah. like Yeah <laughs> Um You just the, fight to the death, y'all. One of the other things is that you can unlock manual aiming for a third way in which you just turn all of the computerized aim assist completely off. And get like a fucking FPS cursor. Oh wow! Um, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, "What is what? It's so fast. What is this for?" And the answer is, it's for sniping people way outside your range, um, like like outside your 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 acquisition range. Is there any PvP? Yeah. Okay. Sure is. So, because I'm I'm immediately. The first thing I think is something like that would probably be like a skill option for people who are amazing at aiming. That Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um so hey man, you do a mission, then you go back to then you go back to assembly and you fuck with your, your robot parts, and the robot parts all seem very well balanced. Like like the the default the starting robot that you start with in the tutorial is pretty good okay like i wanted to go either way heavier or way lighter but regardless i went and fucked with that and was like yeah no this this is a decent thing i'd put like another shoulder weapon on the left shoulder but otherwise mm -hmm. than that like the assault rifle you start with is a pretty good assault rifle it has uses I've uh, all a lot of the older games. I almost exclusively would hear about the like the PvP aspect, especially long after the game comes out. The PvP element is what kind of survives on, and people have like tournaments and builds and all that stuff. Um, uh, I and, played a couple PvP matches, and they seem solid. Yeah. So in this case, I, I it hasn't come up. Uh, I haven't heard much about it, so that's why I guess I'm asking. But um, is it like? a dedicated like mode or is it like a passive aspect it's, it's, of the game? it's a you go into the nest menu and then you search uh for a room or you create a room okay okay but no matchmaking kind of a bummer but um mm. um Are, I, I, so then levels and like tech and equipment and the ability to not get annihilated by someone with an incredible uh mech is just up in the air. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say that, and this is actually really important. Soul memory. Um, my mech is not stronger than when I started. It's more specialized. Tuned. It's tuned. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, most most parts are side grades. Um, like um. I switched from the assault rifle to shotguns, and then I switched to a different shotgun, which does way more damage, but it takes way longer to reload. Right? That side grades will still wreck your shit if they're specialized to, like, melt some, you know, someone that doesn't know how to deal, of course. Right? Yeah, but, I mean, uh, PvP is, a, is not super uh, interesting to me on this. For me, there's the arena, which is you're fighting against like AI opponents of various weird ass builds and then there's the missions themselves which um it's not it's interesting when you die and you go to a checkpoint you have the ability to go back into your garage and switch your shit out with anything you currently own um 
and the reason for this is that uh, I I ran up against a, a, a three of the very large scale bosses so far, and um, people are people are getting filtered the fuck out by these. I hear. I'm hearing a lot. Um, they about are that they are getting absolutely annihilated by some of these things, and the thing that people are are not kind of realizing is that they're not like Sekiro reflex tests. They're like the robot that you have built is not working out right for this robot. You're, you yeah. need to change up your the approach entirely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was running the lightest robot I could get a hold of with the most melee weapons and shotguns on top. Like I wanted to be nose to nose on mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And then I ran into uh, Balteus who is the act one boss who is a fucking motherfucker and that took me a bit to deal with because i had to modify w the way i was doing something to make it work and then i'm looking at people like just use the bubble you know the bubble cannons that are good for d dismantling shields and i'm like oh i should have done that that would have been much that would have been much easier so, that would have been much much easier so the whole like the deprived can always find their way through the challenge thing is not applying here because no. if your build sucks then there's unavoidable damage like like there's a boss that has a weak point on the roof of the mech and it's like if you have quad legs and you can hover above the boss for 45 seconds and just shoot directly into the weak point. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot easier. That's a lot easier than trying to fight the boss normally. Cool. Cool. That's fun. Yeah, that's uh, and I mean, you know, I, I another I, I here's it's like it's I guess another FromSoft game, another holy shit, why, like, is this actually meant to be this hard discussion, you know, and so on, even though, I will again, say, this, is, this um, is a legacy franchise, right? The so. first boss that you have to fight with, like, a with a, a locked-in um, robot is really hard. Like, it's, 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 it's actually very, like, the, the, the helicopter that you fight in the first level with before you're able to change your mech out... Yeah, it's actually really hard. Hmm. Like it, it's 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 much more difficult than I would expect. The I the memories I have of my roommate playing the, it back in the day also didn't really seem like they were particularly they, they weren't very they didn't look very easy either. Like the old games looked pretty fucking hard. Um I also I'm thinking like wasn't there like isn't there, there's usually like a main numbered title and then like two or three versions after that add more and get more difficult and add complexity to it, right? Like, or something to mm -hmm. that effect. Um, so like there's an expectation of like you've mastered the the what's come before, so we're juicing that shit up and here comes yeah. the next level of challenge, right? Oh yeah, so a really good example. There's an early, early Act 1 mission in which the, the mid-boss is, hey you are now going to be fighting an enemy AC. And it is an enemy AC that has interesting equipment and is piloted by a good AI pilot, right? Um, I'm halfway through Act 2, and at the end of the mission, it's like, hey, uh, you will now be fighting two enemy ACs with good-ass pilots. And, and this is my favorite part, every single piece of equipment on these ACs is something that has never appeared before in the game. Oh, so wow. you don't you don't like cool. I'm looking at them and I'm like I don't know what a, any of that shit does. Not a single fucking thing. I'm going to have to learn by doing, I guess. So how did you handle the um I guess customization aspect of of all this? Uh, I, uh, I decided to put reverse joint legs on my, on my boy, and then I decided to go as light, and I went all no, melee no, and shotgun. Not, not what literally, mean? I mean, as in, like, how, like, I know when it comes to min-maxing versus just going with what you think is cool versus trying stuff out, like, there's always some goblins to, to get Not through. really. I don't think it, it, that that's kind of an issue here, because, like, you're gonna, th the, the, you have to start with your legs first. Your leg is going to inform every single other thing about your build. 
right? And you go, do I want to be, uh, do I want to be reverse jointed, regular bipedal? Do I want to be quadruped or do I want to be uh, tank? And once you've made that, then you go, do I want to be, what weapons do I want to use? So then you go pick, pick the weapons that you want to use. And then once you've got that, well, then you're going to pick your fire control system is ranges. Then you're going to be picking your generator to fit the the needs of the weapons that you have. Then you're going to be picking the arms to fit the weight of the weapons you've equipped. Then you'll pick the chest and head for weight consideration, and then you're done. So you never like, hit a point where you loaded out and then did a mission, and you're like, ah, fuck, I'm I, this is not optimal. And then no, what I what I happened is I decided to go all in on the build that I really, really, really wanted to do, and then I hit Balteus. And my build was not good okay. for Balteus, but I had sold every other part other than the ones that were currently on my robot. So even though I was going back to the checkpoint and could hit assemble, I had nothing different to equip and I wasn't <laughs> going to redo the mission. So okay. fuck it. I'm going to learn how to do it with my laser sword. God damn it. And I learned how to do it with my laser sword. God damn it. And it was very, very, uh, very, very uh, helpful. Uh, I will say, I and this is a, as a as a fist swinger, when everyone yells "shut up, don't do it," I respect that. That's good. Uh, and uh, now that I I have done so, uh, there's something really, 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 really important. If you know anything about uh, Armored Core Six, this is the only thing anyone has to know. Uh, you can sell back parts to the store at cost. Yay! No There's downside. There's no downside to buying and trying out pieces and then selling them back beautiful beautiful the other thing and this is really important if you go into ac data you can save your ac layout so i saved my 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 fast guy and then i made a tetrapod build so i saved my tetrapod build and then i made my tank so then i saved my tank right uh and then i sold every single part i sold every single part and then when I went to go load the tetrapod, it said, you don't have all the parts. Would you like us to buy them for you? Wow. And you go, yes. And then it buys back everything you need to make that build. Wow. What a fucking awesome, yes, quality of life. That is very cool. Okay, Proud Souls all the way. Let the player play. Let the player fucking play. That is sick. No so downsides. now, what, if I get to now, the next time I go into play, if I get into a, a sticky situation, uh, I can just, I can just be like, I would like to switch from it's just blank time. to glimpse or yeah, glimpse it, to survey or you know whatever. It's just time. That's fantastic. Because yeah, like it's so easy to just be like, ah, it's gonna cost you. Uh, 25% or 50% if you sell it back. And so you're going to have to grind a little bit more and, mm -hmm. da, 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 you know, and just like, like right now, uh, punish I, the I've, fun. I've, I've done a bunch of missions on replay because I felt like it, but also cause there's, you know, hidden collectibles and shit like that. Um, and I went and I bought every generator and every fire control system and every booster because those things are things that you're going to tweak all over the place when you're moving weapons around. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it, Hey, I don't know what to say. It's an incredibly super cool, well controlling action game with robot. And every time you play with the game and the robot, you go, woo, 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 cool robot. Yay. And yep. and you feel like you're playing with your toy yep. and then you go back to the garage and you spend like, like an entire evening, just painting your toy. Like it's yep. a gunpla. And then you ask your your baby, do you think that's cool? And baby go goo goo gaga because baby don't know nothing. And I'm like, thanks, baby. I appreciate the input. That's 100% of the appeal of robots right there. That's it. Watch them move, paint them up, and then they do cool thing. Yep. Yep. Sick. Uh, and I'm now looking over at people chatting in the chat now that people are starting to beat the game. And apparently New Game Plus has new story and new missions. And New Game Plus Plus has more story and new missions and parts. Okay. Wow. Uh, last but not least, I want to say that, um, so you go fight, uh, you go fight dudes in the arena. You go fight, you know, there's, there's like 35 or whatever it is, like custom robots that are going to be versus matches built by the game. Uh, and you download their data once you beat them. Uh, and then you go, and if you want, you can recreate them by just going to load their data. You can be like, I would like to play as this guy. Exactly. 
Um, and all of them have red exclamation points because all of them used gear that I have not unlocked yet. Um, there's a guy with a fucking energy whip. I'm like, when do I get the fucking energy whip? And the game says later. I'm like, but I want it! I want the but fucking once, energy whip! But once you see it, like, the question marks are unlocked? No. No? No, okay. it's just the, 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 the shit in the, in the, the shit in the, the shop will unlock when it unlocks. But like, but like, they constantly show you robots that have shit that you don't have, and make you go, "Oh!" But so like you, everything. But the system so like is the, the one where you get all that you can see. You will get all of it. So like the gigantic, you know, robots that are just like you know, ten set times pieces. the size of your mech. Yeah. You know, that's that's yeah. that's a set piece boss. But every every robot that is the same size as your robot, if they have something. You will get it eventually. So, and they constantly show like little cool, little cool things. Like, and I'm just like, I want that, nice. but I can't have it yet. But I want it. Okay. I think that game is a good game. Is what I am saying. I don't know about Pocket Dimension, man, but like, it's it's fucking it's, it's fucking great. It's fucking great. Yeah. Fucking good game. Like as soon as you control it, you're like, this, this. it's it's all the controls. Like controls are so important, particularly mm -hmm. in action game. But like it, it, the robot does what I want it to do in the way that I want it to do it, and it looks the way I want it to look while it's doing it. Mm. Yeah. So, of course, I'm gonna take a look at that this week at some point. What? Shut the fuck up! You're crazy. And, um, and well, we'll figure out when.